There are many gods and goddesses in Egyptian mythology whose depiction has changed over time, and Bastet is a great example of this. She is often thought of today as the cat goddess, but she was originally known as Bas, and it wasn't until years later that the T at the end of her name was even pronounced. The earliest depictions of Bastet did not show her as a half cat half woman, but rather a woman with the head of a lion. Bastet was the daughter of Ra, and she was believed to have been associated with the sun and the concept of the all-seeing eye of Ra. Over the years, Bastet's association with the sun dwindled, and her physical appearance changed to that of a domestic cat. She became the goddess of the home, fertility, childbirth, and of course cats. With cats being considered protectors of the home in Egyptian mythology, images of Bastet could be found scattered all throughout the house, believed to ward away evil spirits and disease, particularly those that would affect women and children. Bastet was often associated with perfume and the fine scent. This belief was further reinforced by the fact that she was the mother to Nefertum, the god of perfume. Her name does suggest that she was a kind, playful and graceful goddess, but underneath Bastet was a fierce predator that still retained her lioness persona. She is often depicted as holding a variety of objects, each symbolising something new, an ankh to represent new life, the papyrus wand that was thought to represent Lower Egypt, and a scepter that was thought to signify strength. It wasn't too uncommon to see Bastet being accompanied by a litter of fresh kittens in most depictions. It's no surprise that cats were considered sacred to Bastet and the Egyptian people. If harm was ever to come to a cat, it was considered a crime against Bastet, and those responsible would suffer an undesirable fate. The priests of Bastet's temple kept sacred cats within the temple walls, believing them to be incarnations of the goddess herself. They were so highly valued by the ancient Egyptians because they protected the crops of farmers, and they slowed the spread of disease by killing vermin, another reason why Bastet might be seen as a protective goddess. Being one of the daughters of Ra, Bastet was commonly referred to when discussing the Eye of Ra. She was also closely linked to the other goddesses who formed the Eye of Ra. The most noticeable link was that of Sekhmet, as both goddesses took the form of a lioness. They were also both considered to be the wife of Ptah and the mother to Nefertum. It was thought that Sekhmet represented Upper Egypt, while Bastet represented Lower Egypt. Eventually Bastet evolved into more of a cat goddess, and with this change came a change in name, from Bas to Bastet. Sekhmet, on the other hand, continued to grow into her association with lions. There are those who believe that Bastet's cat-like appearance may be due to her father Ra, because he took the form of a cat when defeating the serpent god Apophis. The transformation of Bastet may have also been influenced by the ancient Greeks, as small house cats were considered skilled hunters. The ancient Greeks believed that Bastet was very similar to the goddess of the hunt, Artemis. Her name was slightly tweaked to Basset, and her form was changed to more closely resemble Artemis, making her a moon goddess. There's no doubt that over the years, Bastet was a goddess of many associations, but her primary role was that of a protector. I think much like a pet cat, Bastet brought the ancient Egyptian families much comfort, knowing that the goddess was always with them, watching over them and protecting them. I hope this video has managed to shed some light as to why cats were so sacred back in the ancient Egyptian times. If you guys enjoyed the video, then let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But as always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.